Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is a pivotal moment in history. Global experiments are providing evidence of our profound interconnectedness of humanity. We now know that our health and wellness is affected by and affects the world around us. The question is, can we awaken the heart of humanity? On December 21st, a very exciting global event is taking place in Jerusalem that will be live streamed around the world. And we are hosting a gathering in Toronto to participate in this monumental event. Jews, Muslims, Christians, throughout the Middle East, the Gulf states, and around the world will be coming together to help awaken the heart of humanity. We're about to witness a historical global moment that we would love you to be a part of. This event is laying the foundation for a new era of cooperation, compassion, understanding, and kindness that can begin to change the current global trajectory and change the narrative of divide that is so pervasive in this moment in time. I'd like to introduce Dr. Mitch Abrams, radiologist and founder of NextGen Health, and David Zakin, senior teacher at the Kabbalah Center of Toronto, who are collaborating to create an opportunity for us to come together in person and online for this historic event on December 21st that will showcase the convergence of modern medical science and the universal spiritual laws. So let's start with you, David. Let me ask, um, from a Kabbalistic perspective, can you share with us why this event is important and what its relevance is in this moment? Sure, I just want to show my appreciation and uh, the pleasure that I have really joining such an, a powerful event, especially in, in the verge of such a huge transition that happens in the world. We all see it. It's affecting all of us. It's affecting our energy. How things really evolve right now in the universe and around us uh, on planet Earth, uh, we, we see like a cry for help and we see that uh, political, cultural, religious uh, solution won't, won't really do that. From the Kabbalistic point of view, we know that we all as humans acting like a vessel, a vessel that is like a battery that receive energy and transmit energy constantly all the time. And it's so exciting right now that uh, there are certain communities around the world that works with uh, the human mind and the works with transformation and consciousness. And there is a data that already proven that the moment you do this work, it's uh, improving your health, it's improving your energy, it's yeah. improving everything all around you. Uh, and, and that's significant that we can actually bridge between uh, the spiritual universal law that's been taught for ancient times, and it can be bridged with scientific research and scientific data uh, that giving us all the consequences of our making pretty much. The solution is not to rely on any political decisions, any social decisions, any righteousness that comes about. It's all about us really wanting really to find an alternative solution. So the world is ready and that's the reason we all meet up and mind like people. And as we examine, there is like so, so many different communities that's doing parallel work. And it's the most important time that we join forces in order to bring the true evolution to, to what we call the tikkun olam in, in, in the Kabbalistic terms. It means the, the, the fine tuning, the correction, the spiritual evolution of all humanity. So I'm very, very excited to join for us, especially because it's coming from Israel, which we know that it's very important center energy of the world. So I'm looking forward for that. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And um, let me ask you, Dr. Mitch, can you share with us a little bit about the emerging science and what it's telling us now about our human interconnection or interconnectivity. Absolutely. Um, and, and again, I, I want to echo David. Um, I feel so blessed to, to be part of this, um, this global event and to be, and to be able to share this um, with David and, and the Kabbalah center and really the world. Um, you know, as a radiologist, we do not use prescription pads or scalpel blades. We use our profound understanding of energy to essentially non-invasively dissect the human body like a loaf of bread without a scalpel blade. We use MRI machines and CAT scans all, and, and these, this technology literally functions because we are all each beings of light. 
Okay, we're vibrations of energy at, at the subatomic level. And this perspective of understanding who and what we are is changing our consciousness. It is helping us understand a deeper aspect of ourselves. And interestingly, Einstein said, everything is energy. He said, future medicine is the medicine of frequencies. And just as David, you know, beautifully talked about, you know, we're each like a battery cell and we are energy, we're, we're radiating energy out into the world. Well, it turns out that is the absolute truth. Our thoughts and emotions are forms of energy. And it turns out that our emotions are encoded within our heart rate rhythms. And depending upon how we feel, how we think in any given moment, it is literally changing the rhythms of our heart rate, which in turn is fed up to the brain. So it affects how we think, how we act, how we feel about ourselves and each other. It literally radiates through their entire body, which then induces either optimal or suboptimal physiological states. So we know now that we can actually heal four times faster when we use our consciousness, we use our mental muscle um, in a way that serves us. And that energy of the heart that these rhythms is not just contained within the physical boundaries of the body, but it's literally radiating out into the world. And it affects other people's hearts, it affects other people. So we have this profound capacity to not just self regulate ourselves, but we can co regulate and synchronize with other people. And now this growing relationship, this, this, this awareness helps us truly delineate this beautiful balance between self-care and global health. We know that our own health and wellness is intimately affecting and affected by the world around us. And for since the 1980s, starting in Jerusalem, there was research looking at collective intention and how groups of people coming together to focus on kindness, cooperation, and compassion, how it literally changed the social metrics during the Israeli-Lebanon conflict at that time. And, and these studies were, were published in peer-reviewed journals. The scientific community didn't understand how it was possible. They were completely perplexed. But just like much of, you know, much of the technology coming out of Israel that's so innovative, the, the, the research design was flawless. They were compelled to publish the data despite not having a clue how this was even possible. Over the last 40 years, however, we've started to understand energy, interconnectedness, particularly the role of the heart. And now on December 21st, a global event is going to take place where we're actually going to begin to witness and learn more about what has been happening over the last four decades when it comes to the science of connection, or if you want to call it the science of compassion. And, and this is where self-care, community health, global health, the science of peace is the science of inner peace and global peace. There's a common thread and this is the beauty of where we are in this moment. And, and it couldn't happen at a more opportune, more profound moment in, in our history. We, we need this. So it's so exciting. Thank you for sharing that with us. And I wanted to just briefly ask you to tell us a little bit about the rad art that is going to be taking place in the Toronto location of this event and broadcast to the world. Um, and I understand the RAD Art is an initiative developed through the Center of Compassion and Altruism Research and Education at Stanford University Medical School. So can you tell us really quickly about what to expect with that? Really quickly, this is a system for sustainable social impact. It's designed to maximize impact. And I work with art, a very talented pool of artists. They'll join me on stage or for any of our programs that we do. And they're there to capture the energy, that moment of consciousness that takes place in real time in their art. And now that becomes a vehicle to fundraise either through corporate sponsorships or for art sales. And this creates a cycle of compassion so that we can use these, these proceeds to deliver mental health programs in schools, communities in need, and for research. And so now this growing collection of rad art begins to tell a story as it grows of how we are actually emerging as a more conscious and compassionate global community. Beautiful. So I, I just want to leave our viewers with some summary points to walk away with that mark your calendars, please, everybody, for December 21st, join us, register at the link attached. This will be a global showcase of interconnected hearts coming together from around the world all faiths featuring leaders who are on the front lines of doing this incredible scientific research, such as Dr. Roland McCready, Lynn McTaggart, 
Greg Braden, Dr. Bruce Lipton, Robert Coxon, amazing, and so many more amazing people are going to be involved in this event. So please don't miss it. There will be live art, music, and more. Be part of this collective experience with us. Join us as we examine and celebrate the power of our hearts. Please share this widely. Bring your friends and family, and we really hope to see you there. Let's awaken our human heart together. Thank you Beautiful. all. Beautiful. Looking forward. Yes. Yeah.